a beautiful and holy place where you can even hear the voices of the angels. It is the church of Santa Maria Maddalena, which overlooks the hill of the Mount of Olives and is also very close to the Garden of Gethsemane. This church was built in the 19th century by the children of the late Empress Maria Alexandrovna, the wife of Alexander II, Emperor Alexander II. She passed away in 1880. The next year her children were uh, visiting and uh, the head of the mission at that time, Father Antonin Kapustin, uh, gave them the idea to build, uh, to purchase this land and build a church here in honor of their mother and they did so. The church has seven golden domes which reflect the splendor of the old city of Jerusalem. It houses the mortal remains of the martyr Saint Barbara and the Grand Duchess Elizabeth Feodorovna, who dedicated her life to the poor and the sick until she was arrested and killed during the Bolshevik War. The church contains some of the relics of Saint Mary Magdalene kept in a special wooden box. Elizabeth who became Orthodox after the consecration of the church here, which was very touched with the, um, the services and the fact that it was in Jerusalem. And soon after that, she became a Russian Orthodox Christian. Soon after her husband's death, she sold all her jewelry and all her things, and she took monastic orders and opened a convent in uh, Moscow, the Mary Martha Convent. In 1918, after the revolution, she was arrested, as with all the uh, members of the royal family. Uh, the next day, Elizabeth, Barbara, who lies here, uh, was thrown uh, into a mine shaft, and grenades were thrown in to kill them, not only them, but also other members of the royal family. The church is visited by countless pilgrims from all over the world especially from Russia, Romania, and American countries. Here, about 40 consecrated nuns serve the Orthodox liturgy, according to the Russian tradition. The mission of the Russian Church serves the people in its entirety, and its various institutions are still present in Palestine. The Russian Ecclesiastical Mission uh, exists in Palestine since the mid uh, 19th century to help accommodate the, uh, accommodate the many thousands of pilgrims that were coming from Russia. There are other churches and there were many hospices, hospitals, schools. There were over a hundred schools that were opened under the auspices of the Russian ecclesiastical mission that served the uh, Orthodox Palestinian uh, uh, faithful. <laughs> 